And we're back to price more bonds. Now what we're going to do is look at what happens when interest rates change. Now we know the simple from introductory finance. We know that when interest rates go up, bond prices fall. When interest rates drop, bond prices rise. That's why if you think interest rates are going to go down, you probably want to buy bonds. Um, and we'll talk today about you might want to buy longer term bonds because longer term bonds move more. So let's see some of the theory behind the pricing behind that. In our previous video, we showed that when the coupon rate and the required return are the same, the bond will sell for par. So for example, let's suppose the market required rate of return is 7%. We have two bonds, a five-year bond and a seven-year bond. Both uh, have 7% coupon payments. And what happens, you see, the price of the bond, this sum is the price of the bond, is $1,000 in each case. Now, as interest rates change, the bond prices will also change. So, for example, let's suppose interest rates drop to 6%. They were 7, they go to 6. What happens to the price of the bond? They will, bond price will go up. Interest rates go down, bond prices go up. How much? The five-year bond will go to 1,042. The 10-year bond goes to 1,073. Now, why is it that a longer term bond moves more. Well, if you want to think of it, what happens is there's a longer period for which that discount or the interest rate will compound and will affect these longer cash flows. The principal is so far out, it'll affect it more. So let's see. Uh, now notice the, see how much they change. The five-year bond went up by 4.2%. The 10-year bond went up by 7.4%. Now, in $1,000, it's only $30, $31, but if you're talking a large, you know, million-dollar trade, that really adds up quickly. Let's just try one more, just for completeness. Let's suppose market interest rates change to 5%. Interest rates go to 5%, the bond should go up even more, and sure enough, it does. New bond price goes to $1,086 from $1,000 originally, and the 10-year goes to $1,154. Now, this works in the reverse as well. If interest rates go up, bond prices drop. So, for example, interest rates go up by 2% from the original 7% to 9% now. The price of the bond is going to drop to $922 for the 5-year bond and $871 for the 10-year bond. Notice the percentage change. 7 0.8% down for the 5, 12.8% for the 10-year bond. Couple lessons to take away from this. L holding other things constant, long-term bonds are more sensitive to interest rates than short-term bonds. Essentially what we're looking at is duration and we will pick up with duration in the next video. Thank you.